menstrual cup what is it and how to use it a menstrual cup is a small funnel shaped flexible cup typically made of high quality medical grade silicon or latex rubber that you wear inside the vagina to collect the menstrual blood during your period it's a reusable alternative to pads or tampons what differentiates it from a pad or tampon is that instead of absorbing the period blood the menstrual cup collects it which you can empty it a few times a day menstrual cups come with the capability to hold more blood than other forms of sanitary products and depending on your menstrual flow you can wear the menstrual cup for up to 12 hours you can simply empty the cup rinse it and insert it again menstrual cup is usually available in three different sizes small medium and large you will have to choose or find a size according to your needs smaller menstrual cups are mostly recommended for females younger than 25 years old and who have not had a vaginal delivery medium menstrual cups are recommended for females between 25 to 35 years of age and who have normal menstrual flow larger sizes of menstrual cups are often recommended for females who are above 35 years of age and who have given birth vaginally or females who have a heavier period before using a cup for the first time it's important to read the directions on the packaging carefully and wash or sterilize it accordingly it's important to note that not all cups are reusable so be sure to read the label if you prefer a reusable cup some brands are disposable so you can throw them away after each use with proper use menstrual cups are safe to use sometimes due to various reasons you may find that your cup is leaking a few reasons for this can be picking the wrong cup size or using a cup that was too small not inserting it properly abnormally heavy bleeding not emptying it in time and not having it pop open properly unless you have used a tampon before you may find using the menstrual cup uncomfortable initially however with the right technique and a little bit of practice you can learn how to use a menstrual cup the right way before using your cup for the first time you should sterilize the cup in boiling water for 3 to 5 minutes before cleaning your cup you should always read the instruction manual that comes with it for example some cups can be boiled others can't how to insert a menstrual cup Insertion is all about correctly folding the cup and trying a comfortable position. Try the cup when you are not on your period. This makes the mess factor a non-issue and allows you to focus more on the mechanics of folding and inserting the cup stress-free. It's important to keep your hands clean at all times, so wash your hands well with soap and water before and after insertion or removal of menstrual cup. Before putting in the cup, lubricate its rim with a water-based lubricant to reduce friction with your vagina. A lubricated menstrual cup is much easier to insert. Try only applying the lubricant to the rim so that you can continue gripping the cup easily. Once the cup is ready, fold it in half along with its mouth and get ready to insert it. Folding the cup correctly can seem complicated at first but there are many ways of folding it like C fold, punch down fold, the seven fold, S fold, triangle fold and so on. Try whichever fold suits you best but the punch down fold is a great one to start with because it has a small insertion point which makes it great for beginners. It takes a couple of cycles to perfectly use the cup. experiment with different folding and insertion methods and don't give up on the first try now breathe and relax if you are holding your breath or you are tense your pelvic floor muscles will likely be tensing too which will make cup insertion more difficult so take a few deep breaths and relax try a comfortable position to insert the cup and relax your vaginal muscles the whole time by acting like you are going pee that naturally relaxes the muscles Most people prefer sitting, standing or propping one leg up onto a toilet seat or bathtub bench. Everyone has their own preference. Now insert the cup into your vagina by parting the labia with your fingers. Once the rim of the cup is in, continue to push the cup into the vagina until the entire cup and stem are inside and once the cup is inserted, give it a push at the base to make the rim pop open. Or Gently rotate it one full circle while holding the base and release then the cup should open up to its original form you can run your finger along the rim of the cup to ensure that it's in the right place and has opened correctly 
If you feel uncomfortable, stop and take a break. If the cup causes extreme discomfort or leaks, then it may not be positioned well. The cup should fit a few inches below your cervix for the blood to flow into. Once properly inserted, the cup forms a suction-like seal that keeps it from getting loose or leaking. Or once inserted, give the stem a very gentle tug to ensure that your cup is properly in place and has formed a suction-like seal around the walls of your vagina. You should not feel your menstrual cup if you have inserted it correctly. If it's not comfortable, it's not in properly. You should also be able to do all the other everyday activities without any discomfort. If you are having trouble putting in the cup, speak with your gynecologist. Normally, you can wear the menstrual cup for 8 to 12 hours without worrying about leakage. If you experience normal blood flow, you can even wear the menstrual cup overnight. You do not have to remove your cup to urinate. Sometimes, when you defecate, the cup might fall out of place, thus you have to remove it and reinsert it. However, you must always remove the cup without exceeding the 12 hour mark. Leaving any product in longer than you should can be a health risk. For menstrual cups, you should leave your cup in no longer than 12 hours to avoid an increased risk for toxic shock syndrome. While the risk is low, cups are not risk free. If it gets full before then, you will have to empty it more often to avoid leaking. In the unlikely event that you accidentally forgot to remove your cup for 12 hours or more, remove it as soon as you realize the same. If you develop high fever afterwards, seek medical advice immediately. How and why you should trim the stem of your menstrual cup? The main parts of your menstrual cup include the silicone cup body, a rim and air holes, grip rings and a longer stem. Most cups come with relatively long stems that many people will trim down. Your cup may be forced to sit lower due to the cervix location and the stem of the cup may protrude. Hence a stem is designed to be trimmed so you don't feel it. If it protrudes out then you need to trim the stem of your cup as it may cause discomfort or irritate the labia. The stem should never irritate your vaginal canal and it definitely shouldn't stick out of your vagina. Please do not cut off the whole stem because it's useful for removal and breaking the seal of the menstrual cup. Everyone's vaginas are different so it's best to trim a little and then reinsert to see if more has to be trimmed. Menstrual cups come in a variety of shapes and sizes and finding the right fit is key. You can start using a menstrual cup at any age but it takes time to find the correct folding method to get used to inserting a menstrual cup. So you may need to try different techniques to make it work for you. Make sure you understand sizing before purchasing a menstrual cup. Everybody is different and multiple factors could affect the sizing selection of a menstrual cup. For teens and virgins, smaller cups are best because these cups are easier to insert and handle for first timers. If you are still unsure, you can talk with your gynecologist about your options and she can help you determine which menstrual cup would be right for you. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends and click the subscribe button to enjoy more such videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye-bye.